So now we are going to turn to uh, Peter Sercek, who has also been the um, co-organizer of this series and um, who has been just so helpful and instrumental in putting this all together and uh, gathering the poets for this, uh, for this reading. Uh, but Peter is also a, a wonderful um, poet. Uh, he's appeared in a wide variety of journals, including Boulevard, uh, Denver Quarterly, New Letters, Hudson Review, American Poetry Review, North American Review, Atlanta Review, and others. His work has also appeared on Garrison Keillor's The Writer's Almanac, mm -hmm. as well as more than a half dozen anthologies. His collections are Waiting for Papa at the Smithtown Diner, All That Remains, and most recently, The Purpose of Things, a collection of short poems and photographs created in collaboration with photographer Peter DeConnick. And uh, I'm going to now turn the floor over to you, Peter. I'd now like to uh, uh, read uh, some work, a, a short selection of poems from uh, my new book. Hopefully you can see that, The Purpose of Things. It's a collection of short poems and photographs created in collaboration with photographer Peter DeConnick, who I believe is joining us today. The poems in the collection are indeed short. They're only eight lines long each. And, uh, and they're all written in uh, identical syllabic format. And each is accompanied by an original black and white photograph, with the exception of one photograph. In any event, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna let you see the photographs while I recite the poems. So we're gonna start with the purpose of hope and there's the photograph. To fatten every ledge, to ballast any list, the knife that's left behind to those whose hands are tied behind their backs, to stretch the shortest straw, to slack in every noose, to strain the light from any storm while water fills your shoes. The next poem is titled, The Purpose of Blood. To baptize every birth, to bankroll every war, to heat the cheeks of everyone seen naked by the world, to bind the best of friends, a moat around the soul, to remind each would-be hero that no one's bulletproof. The next poem is titled, The Purpose of Hands. To slap yourself awake, to hunt down every itch, to test the sword of every thorn that claims to guard a rose, to pleasure every chord, to sign what can't be said, to draw a line down any page on which to make your stand. The next poem is titled, The Purpose of Pain. To envy all that's numb, to teach the bob and weave, to make your knees confess that they're no longer young enough, to find the God you lost, to humble every wing, to learn the price of everything you thought you bought for free. The next poem is titled, The Purpose of Soap. To polish every ear, to threaten filthy tongues, to plant the scent of sweet wild rose where petals never fall, a boat for every bath, to mingle with the scum, to learn how quickly anything can slip right through your hands. The next poem is titled, The Purpose of Hair. You'll love this. A loom for loving hands, a scarf to drape your neck, to celebrate each flip and curl and shun the balding world, to cotton every crease, the wool to warm your legs, to dress yourself in Spanish lace and fragrant tufts of moss. The next poem is titled, The Purpose of Trees. To heckle every kite, to launch a thousand leaves, to audition every bird 
who songs his favorite seed. A coat rack for the fog to shadow every field. A break to slow you down when you're asleep behind the wheel. The purpose of doors. To outlast every wolf, to punctuate goodbye. A stethoscope for secret tales, too faint for distant ears. To survey every knock, to censor every moan. To chart the sway of every hinge and know which side you're on. And finally, I'll close this section with the purpose of hats which is also the cover photograph of the book. To certify each dunce, the right to cast a spell. A tank with 10 more gallons when you're running low on fuel. To shade your only lamp, to sort the kings and queens, to know which end is up when your world's been turned upside down. I will take that off. Uh, stop sharing, there we go. Hopefully you can see me. Uh, again, that's from this book, The Purpose of Things, just published July 6th, by the way, a collection of short poems and photographs done in, in collaboration with photographer Peter DeConick and on sale now at your favorite bookseller. Thank you so much.